Hi guys, this is Matthias from JNM and I show you how to model a chair in Blender. First I show you the method that I would say it's the wrong method or the quick and dirty method that you can often see um, on the web when you google for model a chair and Blender then these chairs are often made out of one object. So you start with a cube and uh, then you try to extrude all your um, sub parts of your model out of this little cube here. You would add edge loops like I do here, then size it in one direction like that, then again add edge loops just to have faces on the on the edges here of the of the seat. and then extrude out the legs of the chair select the faces and then press E and C to extrude in C direction and that's the lower part of your chair right then again select faces from the upper part and again extrude out and a little bit of moving and okay this is your chair looks a bit like a chair like a very simple chair but I really think that's not the way to go or at least when you have a game that is really simple or it is top-down and you don't um, have to include this chair in the logic of your game and it's a static object then okay but when you want to design a chair that could, for example, um, be destructible or something like that, then you have to keep in mind that a chair is uh, made out of several parts and we will create them now. Usually a chair has four legs, a seating and a backrest. So we start by designing the legs. I enabled here in the mesh display the length so I can design my object like it is in reality. So my leg is about 45 centimeters in height I think. This is for a normal chair so I would size it like that. This is one leg I'm currently creating. Right. Now I size it in C direction. Okay. That's a good start and now yeah, I think we have to increase the height a little bit. First scale it down. Like that. And then scale in Z direction. Okay, that's good. What I often do for this kind of object is I use the bevel modifier or the bevel tool. This can be enabled by pressing Ctrl B key and then you slightly move the mouse to add a bevel to the object. Okay, this looks good and this is our first leg. Now for the next part, the seat or the seating is it? I'm, I think the word is seating. It should be about 50, 55 centimeters. Let's scale it and see the length is when I apply the scale. Yeah, that's quite good. This should fit. Okay, and now I select snapping. Snapping means I move my object and I want to snap here to the edges. 
So I snap my object directly to the edge of another object and this is exactly what I want here. I want to snap my seat to the legs. Then I duplicate the legs and move it in one axis direction and here is the lower part of my model. Very nice and very fast. And it's modular. Okay, now for the back part of the of the chair. I start by duplicating a leg, adjusting the height, and then I add edge loops because this part of the chair is a little bit bent. So I will add rotation to this object to get a nice bend um, back part of the chair. I selected too many edges here. Remove this, only select the upper part by pressing B. Now rotate and move it till I have a nice bent angle. Yeah, just like that. Then I move this object that it fits the seating of the chair a little bit down here we go okay great and now I go ahead and again duplicate this object and the next part will be to create three yeah I think three enough middle parts for this chair, middle blanks. Therefore I will create another cube directly in the middle here of the object. And scale it just like that. Okay, now I apply some rotation because this lower part is also rotated. Now I scale it up and again I will use the snapping so that the outer parts snap exactly to the edges of the middle part. This is really a great feature of Blender. And move it again till it fits. Just like that. Very easy. Now I hide the front blank here of the back part so that I can see directly um, how I have to adjust the middle parts add an edge loop because also this middle planks are a little bit bent. Now I duplicate and add three of them. Okay. Again, duplicate this the last time for the third one. Rotate it accordingly. Yeah, this looks good. And now I can unhide the object I have hidden before by pressing H and Alt key. And here it is, my chair. Now you see it doesn't take much time to create such an object. Just before you design that object, think of how it is made of, of which parts it consists and this gives you the flexibility uh, to access all these subparts in your games when it comes to destroy this object or whatever. Ok, 
Okay, in the last part I want to show you, because you may have noticed that this object doesn't have a parent. So let's add an empty object, like that. And center it. And now let's select all these sub parts, all the elements that the chair is made of. Okay. And the last object we have to select is the chair, the empty object we just created, and then parent all your sub object to this one. And now we have one object and all the other ones we just created for the chair are sub-objects, children, to this one. And you can move or rotate the main object, the chair, as you like. Okay, I really hope you like this tutorial. I will upload the project to my Patreon and if you are my Patreon, you can download it from this location. Here's the link. The rendered image and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, till soon.